Welcome to Pharmacy Practice News Meeting Highlights, our new convention coverage program. We're here at the 2017 ASHP Mid-Year Clinical Meeting in Orlando to bring you the latest research and reports from today's professional poster session. For more information, log on to www.pharmacypracticenews.com. John, thank you so much for joining us today on Meeting Highlights. Oh, you're quite welcome. Thank you for having me. Tell us about your scorecard. It's, it sounds like a very interesting way of educating the C-suite and uh, other executives within the hospital about what's going on financially with the pharmacy. We worked with our performance solutions group and developed a, a scorecard that we were able to present uh, monthly at the value analysis team along with supply chain to really give an overview of what we're trying to uh, uh, accomplish in pharmacy and also shed some light on any areas of focus or potential uh, risk areas that we needed to look at in order to uh, focus our efforts and, and reduce the spend. So when you look at the, at the, at the scorecard, we have a savings erosion uh, chart. So you can see at the beginning of the year we were in the red. That was really uh, secondary to uh, all of the drug shortages that were occurring at the time, as well as uh, some contractual relationships that we were still negotiating. So a lot of our efforts were being eroded by those shortages in purchasing products off contract. And then we, com we compare that to our budget. And anything obviously in the green, green means go, green means good. So we were able to maintain budget across, uh, across the entire year last year. And really we, that rolls up into our synergy portfolio of pharmacy supply chain productivity, length of stay, clinical efficiencies, and revenue cycle, of which our system is, is benchmarked uh, against other uh, facilities of our minority partner. What kinds of reports were generated as a result of the scorecard, and how did that help your situation? We track based on WEPA, which is Weighted Equivalent Inpatient Admission, <laughs> and we established a target per WEPA, and then looked at our total pharmacy spend against the budgeted target, and then earn value, we took credit for anything uh, that we were able to identify off of those reports. So in terms of your top opportunity areas, yep. uh, tell us about those. Sure. So across 2016, our top opportunity areas that were identified as focus areas for us to work on were antimicrobial spend, chemotherapy agents, the biotech category, which primarily is composed of vaccines, clotting factor drugs, our general drug spend, uh, so those drugs that don't necessarily have an individual category in the general ledger, and then drugs utilized by the anesthesia department. And one of the things we identified as we changed wholesalers is the GL codes didn't match up. So this is what we called out here. We needed to do a cleanup to really identify the fact that this isn't truly a $2 million erosion here. Some of these items belong in different general ledger categories. So, And then, of course, the celebrate section these are things that really contribute to driving this, ero this savings erosion into the greens. Antimicrobials, for example, we were able to really put some more resources on our, on our antibiotic stewardship program and drive better contract compliance for higher tiers and more savings. We also utilize this scorecard within our department to benchmark ourselves to say, all right, this is what we're working on. What can you do today as a staff member to contribute to our overall success? So it's working both ways. Yes. Were there any surprises? Uh, I think probably the, the largest surprise was the opportunity um, that we identified in the, uh, in the vaccine arena. We were able to renegotiate a contract working with the physicians out of this rescue and then mitigate space, and you can see to generate a $605,000 savings just by changing contract and driving that contract compliance. Great. Any other final messages for our viewers? This really provides some common ground for uh, the discussion to start regarding what's going on in the pharmacy department and how it's contributing to the overall organization. Great. Well, thank you for this wonderful contribution to our program. Thank you. Appreciate it. Appreciate the okay. opportunity. Thanks. For Pharmacy Practice News and Meeting Highlights, I'm Dr. Linda Bernstein.